क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टींथ दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ ए गैल्वेनोमीटर इन टू ए वोल्ट मीटर इट इज गिवन दैट ए करेंट ऑफ फाइव मिली एम्पियर क्रिएट्स ए फुल स्केल डिफ्लेक्शन इन ए गैल्वेनोमीटर नाउ द गैल्वेनोमीटर हैज ए क्वाइल रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ फिफ्टीन ओम वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दिस गैल्वेनोमीटर इन टू ए वोल्ट मीटर हैविंग रेंज जीरो टू टेन वोल्ट एंड फॉर दैट वी नीड टू नो हाउ मच रेसिस्टेंस शुड वी एड इन सीरीज विद दिस गैल्वेनोमीटर so i know that the full scale deflection current given out to be 5 milli ampere that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere now the range of the voltmeter is 10 volt so that means 10 should be equal to ig into the resistance which you are going to add in series with this galvanometer plus the coil resistance of galvanometer 10 is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 R plus 15. If we solve it, we'll get the value of R to be equal to 1985 ohm. So correct answer is answer number three. Question number 16. It is based on uh, the concept of rotation about a fixed axis. In this question, a slender uniform rod of mass m is released from this position. It is pivoted here. There is no friction at the pivot, and it is given that. <coughs> the mass of the rod is m the length of the rod is l and we need to find what will be the angular acceleration of the rod when it makes an angle theta with the vertical so it's very basic uh, concept we just need to take the torque about an axis passing to this point that will be equal to mg into l by 2 sin theta when the rod makes an angle theta with vertical and this is equal to i alpha and i is going to be ml square by 3 into alpha so alpha turns out to be m m gets cancelled alpha turns out to be 3g over 2l sin theta so the correct answer is going to be uh, correct answer is going to be answer number 3 question number 17 this question is based on the concept of uh, radiation emitted when certain transitions takes place between two energy levels here are some energy levels this level has got energy minus e this level has got energy minus 2e and this level has got energy minus 4 by 3 according to the question when a transition takes place between these two levels the wavelength of radiation emitted is lambda 2 and when a transition takes place between these two levels the radiation the wavelength of radiation emitted is lambda 1 now the energy level difference between these two levels is going to be e so i can write e is equal to hc over lambda 2 uh lambda 1 e is equal to here the energy level is minus e here it is minus 2e so when the transition will take place between these two levels the energy emitted will be equal to e so energy is equal to sc over lambda 1 and when the transition takes place between these two levels then it is going to be mi minus 4 by 3e minus of minus e that is e by 3 and this is going to be sc by lambda 2 the question ask us to calculate r is equal to lambda 1 over lambda 2 we can simply calculate from here lambda 1 is going to be hc over e from here lambda 2 is going to be 3sc over e so r is going to be lambda 1 hc over e over 3hc over e so it is going to be 1 by 3 so correct answer is going to be answer number 3